to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a sketchbook tour, which I am super, super excited about. This is my first ever completed sketchbook. I've always wanted to do a sketchbook tour. Um, before we do get too far into the video, if you are not already, please subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment as well. But I do want to get right into this video. These first few pages are uh, kind of concept designs that I did for one of my characters. Um, actually, a few of my characters for a graphic novel that I'm working on right now. Um, the main premise of the graphic novel kind of surrounds the Zodiac world. So I'm still uh, trying to get together character interactions and such. Uh, this page is kind of just random experimentation. I do have up in the corner there Maid Sama. That was an anime that I was watching at the time. On the left here, we have a Draw This In Your Style. And on the right, uh, a Janae portrait inspired by her album, uh, which was released actually around the start of COVID time. Um, one of my favorite albums by her and um, there's another portrait of her as well a little bit more realistic looking um, I definitely think that some of the shading is a bit harsh but here we have another draw this in your style and my first entry for mermaid and this was mermaid 2020 it's just crazy to look back on how different my art looks now um, I've definitely progressed as an artist, but these are two more mermaid entries and then also a draw this in your style. I remember being really proud of that draw this in your style at the time, but now looking back, it's just so different from where I'm at to now. Um, the left was inspired by Lucy Hale from Pretty Little Liars, but the right here um, I really was inspired that it was like Mermaid Star Wars Day. Um, there's this whole May the 4th be with you theme that kind of goes on. So I got my colored pencils out and I drew Princess Leia in her slave outfit with Jabba the Hutt. Um, but I made it into a mermaid. So I thought the concept was really good. It definitely didn't turn out how I wanted. Especially, I went a little bit crazy with the um, highlighter, especially like around Jabba's lips and um, the princess's hair as well. Here, I was uh, doing more concept art for Lyra, one of the characters in my graphic novel, experimenting with style and just some little thumbnails of uh, wolf poses. I remember debating if I wanted to focus in on wolves, if I wanted to focus more on people, uh, um, and here just are a few more wolf, but more focused on facial expressions. And I tried to do some profile views of the wolves as well. Another draw this in your style and a mermaid piece. I'm definitely not satisfied with how the color turned out. Uh, I thought the concept was cute though. Most of my beginning pages are going to be Draw This In Your Style and Mermaid because I was just getting back into art and uh, still really trying to develop my style and discover myself as an artist. But this concept I really, really love. I'm actually going to redraw it for sure. I don't like the coloration of it. I don't like the markers that I used, but I think that the idea was really cool. and. Uh, this was a draw this in your style and then Najira on the right, one of my characters. This page is just a bunch of crap, honestly. <laughs> Skip over that. Um, again, draw this in your style, mermaid. It's kind of the theme that we're continuing to see here. Uh, this was a piece I really liked. I think the concept was like psycho or something like that, but I'm definitely going to redraw that. Not quite sure what was going on with the hair. Oh, this one is so cute. It it was inspired by Rick and Morty, if you can tell by like the eyes, the eyelashes and the mouth. I just think it's a cute little like comic worthy strip. Um, she's in the fresh water asking, you know, where's the salt? Because mermaids live in the ocean. 
Um, I remember being super proud of this, especially the color palette that I used. I really like those colors and I really like the concept again. I had really good ideas. I just didn't always know how to bring them forth the way that I wanted. So this sketchbook really helped me develop that as an artist, kind of seeing through my vision perfectly, well, more perfectly, or I guess better. Um, this was, excuse me, this was an animation that I was gonna do about the differences between like a latte and, and stuff I never finished. But again, I like both of these concepts. The one on the right, I'm super proud of. I actually really like how the color turned out even though I would probably change the hair now and the shirt, but I love that I did like a tiger shark and I definitely looked at a reference and it was really, really fun to do. Um, day 19 of Mermaid, I went way overboard. The concept was there, but it just definitely wasn't what I wanted. And yet again, another draw this in your style and a merman it was I was trying to put him in a tuxedo another merman just just zero out of ten don't recommend completely blah I cannot believe I produced that oh my gosh I feel like I I was trying to go for something cool with the tattoos it just did not turn out how I wanted but then we have both of these which I liked I love both of these concepts I'll probably use them again for this year's mermaid because I ended up deleting them from that year just because it, it didn't match my Instagram feed or my aesthetic and I want to I want to put them digitally and maybe just make a few edits of course but I believe this was my last attempt at mermaid on the left and this came about kind of around the time of Black Lives Matter I believe it was um, like when all of those rallies and uh, protests were going on um, little Tex is there, too young to die, too black to live. More draw this in your style. Nothing really too crazy. Um, black Athletes Matter, I did that for my master's marketing project. I had to riff on, um, you know, something that was happening in the world. Um, a bunch of unfinished stuff. And more draw this in your style. I really like, again, the one on the um, right. I remember being super proud of how it turned out. Um, and these are characters, again, from my graphic novel. I was going for a mercenary kind of aesthetic, just with their robes and their clothing, um, their twin, Gemini. And I was kind of getting an Assassin's Creed vibe when I was coming up with them. So that's kind of what I was trying to go for trying to flesh that out a bit and draw this on your in your style and another kind of panel that hasn't been fully fleshed out there's a lot of random stuff that doesn't go together in my sketchbook but that's okay and that's what I realized about a sketchbook like it's there it can be messy it can be crazy this draw this in your style is like a huge turning point in my art where I started to really be happy with it as far as the style and I feel like I'm starting to get really consistent with my style. These were just concepts that I did for a client, um, a potential logo and more mermaid. And on the right, it's some Twitch streamer that my brother wanted me to draw for him. I think it's Smiley Cooley or Cooley Smiley, something like that. This on the left is actually mermaid 2021 so the gap from this sketchbook is oh and then we have princess leia i wanted to go with her but a little bit more modest this time um but yeah this sketchbook i forgot to even mention i guess it is in the beginning it took me not quite two years to finish but pretty close i think it's like a year and like 10 months a year and nine months to finish this because I wasn't taking art completely serious in the beginning. I kind of just started doing it again because of COVID and I was trapped in the house. But this is the section where it's gonna start to get a lot more telling of who I am. I'm able to express what I'm trying to express better. And I'm starting 
to get to a place where I'm really happy with it, like I said. Um, yeah, that was a terrible idea to use those markers because it bled through on this, which was going to be a sticker design, but it's okay. I can just, you know. This was a Meet the Artist Q&A that I never did. I do still plan to do it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I haven't got to film it yet, but I'm definitely still going to be posting that on my channel. Hand study that I did. It does not look like I finished it. I might have got distracted by something and it's just random box here. Not sure what was going on there, but moving on. Moving right along to The Walking Dead. OMG. So this is Michonne from The Walking Dead. She is literally like the best most badass character that i've ever met she's the queen of the apocalypse if you haven't seen the walking dead i definitely recommend it it's on netflix it was like one of the only shows that kept my attention every episode like something crazy and interesting was happening so definitely definitely that's where that inspiration came from both of these are pieces that I absolutely love. I remember being so happy with how this came out. And you can clearly see the transformation from my art in the beginning of my sketchbook until now. Just the proportions are good. The style is something that I think represents me. By the way, this was a Draw This In Your Style from uh, Chibi Mika. It was super, super fun. This was a Draw This In Your Style too. And I just absolutely love the detail of the lemons in the background and then the little lemon earring as well. Super, super cute. I was so happy with how these turned out. And it's really a turning point for me as far as seeing that progress. You know, when you've been working and working and working and you finally start to see some progress. Um, on the right here was actually a commission that I did for an artist, a rap artist. I think he used it as a cover for one of his songs on SoundCloud. I almost want to like hit him up and, and offer a better rendition just because I know I could really make it a lot better than what it was. But again, this is another page that I'm so proud of, this whole spread. It just, my art's really starting to improve. Um, the concept on the left I got from Pinterest, the concept on the right was inspired by Kobe Bryant and it says Black Athletes Matter. I'm definitely going to be making this a sticker, it's actually in progress now. So do stay tuned for shop updates on that. I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, this page not so much, um, did not turn out really how I wanted. On the left we have... Um, Lyra and Najira and you can see how you know the style for them is kind of changing too and on the right I have album covers that I was working on just some like thumbnail ideas very very not fleshed out ideas <laughs> like just literally scribbling something down on paper um, I had I made proofs of them I'm not sure where they went. This is a terribly proportioned skeleton. Like, I'm so bad at body proportions. It is not even funny. That's something that I'm really trying to get better at this year. But both of these are for a my first challenge I ever did on my Instagram. I did it in December 2021, Mulata Black Xmas. And you can actually go on my Instagram and see. I think I did like seven of them. These were concepts that I did, but I never ended up using these. But the challenge was super fun. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I had a few people join, so that was a big milestone for me as well. Uh, a few people that I'm, you know, that I don't know in real life. So that was really cool to see. And um, if you guys are watching, thank you for joining my challenge. These are just some gesture drawings. I went on YouTube and looked up how to improve your drawing skills and it said gesture drawings was a great way to do so but I think I needed to use a bigger sketchbook I, I don't know why I've always been scared of having a bigger sketchbook this exercise on the left I had so much fun doing basically I tried to draw different faces in two minutes and I just picked out a single color um, that I could use like no shading or anything like that and I just think it's pretty. I like how it turned out. It looks just really funky and the faces are interesting. 
Um, these are just random, random thoughts that I just spit out. Um, the left here was another one from my challenge. Ugly sweater was the theme. And then on the right, I'm super, super proud of this page, actually. I think it turned out really well, and it just goes... Um, yeah, I think this page turned out really well. It's me just basically trying to practice a consistent style, a consistent way to draw eyes, to draw the mouth, draw the nose, facial proportions, and... I really really think that I nailed it it was super fun to do and it's super fun to see that progress as well even you can see on the character's face here uh, you know same type of style as what I did on the right I think I do need to do that more is you know just straight faces eyebrows uh, just being consistent again um, and this is more these both were inspired by Pinterest pictures. That's where honestly most of my art inspiration comes from. And these are gesture drawings, definitely better than the other ones that we saw. I love that pose on the right. And I actually ended up turning it into a little fashionista character. But um, on the right here is a huge turning point in my art as far as observation goes, this is where I realized, I remember this exact moment, this is where I realized how the eye interacts with light and just the other features of the face. The eyelid uh, is darker towards the corners and light towards the center. And you know, there's actually, you know, just the biology of the eye, I didn't understand. And this is really where I started to understand it and was able to consistently replicate it. So I'm super happy with that. I remember that moment and it is a huge defining point in my art. Even um, from here on out, you can see that in the eyes. Even here, you can see it in the eyes. And this piece I was so, so happy with. This is, in my opinion, one of the best things that I've ever drawn as far as the facial proportions and just me being happy with the style and how it turned out, the outfit, the pose. I was so, so thrilled with this piece. And I definitely think I'm going to maybe redraw it because it, it was a little bit Christmassy and maybe I'll make it a sticker. Um, the one on the right here is actually a sticker available in my shop now. Link will be in the description. And oh, looky here, another sticker design we have. Um, both available in my Etsy shop. Link is in the description. And this is more just randomness randomness um, and again just trying to really nail my style on the face getting to be more realistic even and that boss babe is going to be a sticker as well the piece that we just saw and again something I'm super proud of I'm starting to get more and more proud of every piece that I do and this will definitely be a sticker as well so stay tuned for that shop update um, link to my Etsy is in the description and the last few pages here are basically just me testing out my markers I would put the color on and then try to come up with a name for each of the colors you know what did the color remind me of what did it make me think of it was super fun but that does bring us to the end of this sketchbook tour. I officially finished my sketchbook on December 26th, 2021. I know that this page isn't the prettiest, but I was just excited to be finished with my first sketchbook ever. But thank you so much for tuning into the video, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on future content. And support me on TikTok, Instagram, and my Etsy shop. All those links will be in the description.